Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of legendary difficulty Phoenix Point where I'm trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without having seen it or heard anything about it before. So time to do City Pana Hill, Fort Lock Defense and in order to do that we have our second team, finally a few new characters and new faces here. Uh, that we haven't, most of them haven't seen in a while. Uh, we're taking Little Green out for a nice little walk. Um, wait, 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 wait. We're taking that one here. Yes, please. Uh, what else do we want to do? Potentially this, actually. <laughs> Some more of that. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. Ender Sanders, did we have... Oh yeah, we had one extra shotgun, if need be. Last Resistant West. Um, the pistol is fine, but I think we're better off with a shotgun, actually. Tyler could uh, use a better rifle, and thanks to our overflowing resources, we can now actually give uh, the second team a couple of extra nice weapons as well. Isn't that great? Indeed. Natalia has a great sniper, but we do not have another uh, another spare sniper, but we have a couple of Maddox of the Ancients, which I think we can use here. Natalia, by the way, has the Hawk uh, 41K, which is a special sniper that with Overwatch uh, cost reduction could uh, be overwatched in just one action point. So I want to continue to try to use that for now. Hexor had, oh yeah, that, this is the group with the many, many snipers in it, I remember. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, no, we unfortunately don't have a weapon that uh, works well. Jim, on the other hand, definitely has a, um, a weapon that would work very well. I think we were saving for Adrenaline Rush, right? I think so. You know what? I gift you the one extra point that you were lacking. Very good. What else? Iron Rock. Um, I started to like the Subjugator, mainly because it uh, allowed us to spread fear very effectively. The spiders definitely are not bad as well. And of course the turrets are good. Nothing wrong with that. Just wondering, do we need anything else? Could give him an even more efficient uh, PDW. I think overall that's fine. Hmm. 
I wonder if the if the PDW is better than the assault rifle, but she has oh yeah, she has that extra assault rifle uh, precision ability. Okay, fair enough. Look, overall not too bad. I think um, the Maddox of the Ancients were quite helpful. Now the only question is, should we give some of uh, the guys here a short gun? Heavy training, sniper training. I tell you what, we're going to do that plus that. And since he's the only one who is trained in uh, shotguns, we're actually going to give him the shotgun. And I think Natalia gets the proper rifle. There you go, my girl. I like it. That looks like a good plan. In terms of points, uh, anyone else? Hexor. 27 points. I think we waited for Rage Burst. Here we wanted to get a second class. Yeah, we're okay. That should be plenty for good as a squad. Let's go. All right, we landed. Time to secure the area. Interesting starting position. Everybody is frenzied. Um, oh, look at that. Well, we could place the turret up there. Reporting enemy contact. Or alternatively, we're just putting it pretty much into the middle. Something is here. Not quite sure Alexa. what it is yet. <laughs> Natalia. Hits the torso, succeeds with it. Not a kill. Not a lot of damage, but okay amounts. Don't want to paralyze him, I want to actually kill him. I can do this. I thought that the sniper would go down to one, but of course that's not true. They're sharp. Dead 
dash further. That's a nice hit. I like it. Good. This might uh, get the tri triton down. Let's not get them down, but prevents him, I think, from using his arsenal. Let's show him what we can do. Ender's uh, moves up. Solid hit and disable of the torso. Uh, he's not going to die, but he's severely injured. All right, Jim, what are we going to do with you? The real problem in most of the cases is just the lack of proper movement compared to the primary group. But I think compared to the primary group, everybody moves too slow. Right, Overwatch. More Overwatch and All right, whatever it is, it took a bit of damage. Which is good. I think it's a siren. No, Mindfrager. Interesting. Interesting. Just seeing that there is an armadillo up for grabs here. Yeah, we got to deal with uh, the artillery. Can't be bombarded like that. Three more enemies. Fantastic. Let me correct that. Two more enemies. Moving over. And 
reducing the actions. Got a couple of potential friends here. What's our move? Okay, so mm. I think this will give us a pretty sizable advantage if we actually can use that wagon. Into the vehicle. Thank you. Armadillo. Well, hello there. Advancing. Tyler very much is ready. Tell you what, together with uh, quick aim, it might not be a bad combination be because that's target. hitting uh, for one. How does that taste? Wow. Okay. I just need the right angle. <laughs> wow, yeah, that well that's a lot of damage. So, just looking at the options here, I don't want to be in the line of fire. Carefully moving up. Okay, well, that direction we can already try to hit. That is little green and we can't hit the artillery. Well, that is too bad. I thought that was a really neat position here. Yeah, 36 damage is really not a lot. How does that taste? Looks dangerous. Alright, Natalia has 
gotten her willpower back. I like it. Jim. All prize hits both of these worms because I don't want us to be hit. And let's move up. Next turn, we're going to take them from up here. Moving up. Second turret, completely different angle. And I think with two turrets we should be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems New Jericho has a few uh, soldiers on the battlefield themselves. Unfortunately, they only feel that the incompetent ones. Oh, look at that. A new Jericho sniper. We definitely got a deal uh, with the New Jericho, uh, getting more of the New Jericho guys, so that this here is not going to escalate. Interesting mission overall, but I wonder why they put all of the fun missions towards the latter part. Like this here could be a fantastic mission earlier. Fair play. Uh, that new Jericho guy might die relatively soon. Maybe even already dead. <laughs> they are trying to paralyze uh, the Amadillo. That's hilarious.
Well, I was afraid the positioning of the turret might not be the best one. I take that back. The positioning of the turret was actually well thought through. Okay, so carefully. Ready, sort of. <laughs> hmm, how can we get in there? Hmm. This might be enough to get him. Yep, we got him under control. If we position ourselves here, this guy can't just get to us. I think so. So we got another turret. All set. And luckily... You can remote control as far as you want. Tyler moves in to cover. What's the plan? Oh. Fire. I haven't accounted for that. Uh, good point. Yeah, we gotta remove the worms, unfortunately. brings us to here. Right there. And neatly to Ah, we can't overwatch. Only with a pistol, but that's okay. Yeah, 
I don't want to go out. We're pretty safe inside of the armadillo. On the other hand... We're okay over here. Moving out. Jim finally takes the high ground. Preparing to fire. Alright, that didn't work out. Natalia on the other hand. Let's go. Takes high ground over here. starts missing good snipers are in a decent position everybody else is hunkering down and we're good to go you're gonna want this he again said the F word. I heard it loud and clear. Did he just... Yeah, I think he just killed his uh, mind sucker friend. <laughs> oh no! Alright, well... Stupid siren. What's well, not mind control? Okay, well, here we go. Good. The great part about the ancient weapons is they just deal a lot of damage. Look at that. Sure, if you used adrenaline rush, by the way, just to get her down. It's okay. In in the end, it's fine. But it would have been so much easier.
Good. Enemy is deeply afraid and now being put into sleep. Five by five. What now? I can do it. <sighs> I'm on the move. Good. Tyler moves up. New Jericho technician heals himself to full. Before moving up. Oh yeah, we still got uh, one more enemy over there. Can't let that happen. more remote control that turret here has been used more often than a public bathroom I'm here I'm here good well he got some damage what's our move Have to focus. It worked. Jim uh, just killed him, right? No, not quite, but almost. Oh, online. Good, Overwatch. Jericho Sniper moves up and Overwatches as well. Fantastic. Very good. Good round. Oh yeah, it kills the turret. Well, uh, that is unfortunate, but an acceptable loss. This guy, on the other hand, will die next turn. Andrew, where is the ma mind uh, fragger? Right there. All set.
moves up. Gets rid of that. Um, what are we going to do? What's our move? One. Almost. That was unfortunately not successful. Successful. Should have just moved up closer. That's a long shot. One that actually worked out reasonably well. Well, that guy's dead. This guy's dead. Let's see what else we can do. Do we have a plan? Both of the snipers really don't have a great shot. All right, Natalia maybe does. Attempting to acquire target. Good, that guy is going to respawn again. So might as well overwatch. Hmm. Kitsu uh, can't really position well. Trying to stay away from these guys as far as possible. Jim is actually also just going to overwatch. And we're overwatching. All right, good. Our new Jericho fr uh, friend is very likely going to die. Yep, not a surprise. These guys are just such a menace. My head. I can't breathe. Well, fantastic. Panic chain. Just 
can't remember which game uh, that which game was famous for creating panic chains. Target down. Uh, name somehow escapes me. Right there. Let's go. Okay, Natalia unfortunately misses. That's well, indeed quite unfortunate. The whole concept of these respawners is somewhat. Uh, how do they respawn? Like, how is an organism respawning? and then hitting stronger than the original organism that seems so counterintuitive to me good very much getting into cover here. I have no ambition to deal uh, with these guys in melee combat. shoot through a bush. Interesting. Good, giving everybody some will points back. Enemy killed. Very good. Little green begins to move up, and soon, very soon, we're going to hopefully get to the artillery and from there kill it. New Jericho sniper begins to move up it's another expendable unit and that's pretty much it what's our move jim moves up to here Disables the carapace. Attempting to acquire tug. Nice sniper rifle. I mean, look at that. That was all across the map, and we just nailed the shot. Out of ammunition with the armadillo. Great. Well, at least we can. Some of the cover here. Sniper moves up.
Little green moves up. All right, end of turn. go starting to let that guy bleed running sniper continues to move up and we can use our armor armadillo clear that side and make sure no one else is here hit I'm ready ready to it <clears throat> good end of turn in case you're wondering why am I just moving forward with two forces number one it actually is faster than moving seven or eight number two <laughs> little green could uh, move out any moment with the gen tech and uh, the sniper is very much uh, expandable good mission outstanding work once again your people prove themselves worthy successors to the phoenix legacy you know, when I was running Vanadium, before the mist, I knew all about the Phoenix Project. A lot of people thought you were just paranoid, a tinfoil hat cult. But I could tell that Randolph Symes was on to something. He, as opposed to most of the government and corporate leaders of the day, understood the scale of the threat. Thankfully, being wealthy gives you an opportunity to plan. Right. Good. So now all we need is to defend uh, the other bases, which is going to happen very soon. By the way, I think in terms of manufacturing, The Scorpion is not bad as a starter, but I think Scyther and the Grenade Launcher are also very, very helpful. Specifically, Scyther seems to be an incredibly potent uh, option if we can spread it a little bit further. The Shotgun, on the other hand, not sure yet, but uh, so far, it seemed to have worked well. The crossbow, I'm not yet sure. Haven't seen too much good come uh, from it. So in terms of mass production, I think the snipers are actually quite helpful for now. Because we need a lot of them. We have a lot of snipers just to begin with. But I think we're going to save up and it's going to be Scyther plus uh, something else. Research complete. Soldier recruitment costs drastically reduced. Well, thank you. Not that we need so many soldiers, but okay.
Very good. Very soon we're going to go on to our next mission. In the meantime, all of our materials are looking fine as well. That's interesting. The Cyphers of Anu are, uh, are attacking. And what's also interesting is we're going to mess up our relationship with two just for defending. What the hell is actually going on? Why would why would anyone uh, think why why would the neutral party care about us defending? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, we're going to do that the next time. I think next mission is going to be double defense. Uh, this and that. And then it's up to more research. Almost there, guys. One and a half days until the first tranche of research labs is coming in and then one and a half more days until the next tranche is coming in. So that actually works well. We got some more weapons that we can produce soonish. Manufacturing with the Helios in general is not a bad idea. And before we're always producing that Helios, like is not having a weapon. No, you actually have chosen not to have a weapon. Uh, I think here, right? Yes, yeah, subjugator. There you go. Ammunition. Done. Because in the meantime, I think we've now like so many pur purification grenades, we can basically equip every team with a lot of purification grenades if we just so if we just deem that that is a good idea okay anyways uh that's it for today uh, that's all i've got thank you and uh, see you in the next episode bye bye guys